So here we are in a rental property that Glenn and I have owned for several years. Glenn's usually a part of the renovation. I kind of want it to be a surprise for him and he's like, no, 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 you gotta tell me, you gotta tell me. And I'm like, nope, nope, nope. I'm super excited for this one to come together and have it like stay booked really, really often because of how cool it looks. I just kind of wanted to check on the progress and see how things were going. Um, so far so good, I've only walked into the kitchen now. So the cabinets are getting painted, the, the teal color that is gonna be kind of like, you know, farmhouse cool, but like with a modern edge, cause not everything is gonna be um, new in here. And I, I really had to keep a tight budget on this one in order to make it work for an Airbnb. So I'm trying to use as much as I can that's already here, which is why I kept the cabinets. Cause overall they were in decent shape. So. The new tile is in, I'm excited about that. All of this paneling, um, you know, I'm like a huge fan of painting the trim and the windows and all of that white in houses typically when it's wood. Um, I'm doing something different here, which I'm very excited to see how it's gonna go. I'm doing all of the trim and paneling in like a dark kind of charcoal gray color. Again, I just want this house to have like a really unique feel to it. So I went with kind of a really light blue in this um, room and it's also in the kitchen. It's a little bit darker than I was anticipating, but I can still work with it. I, I, I like it, it's soft, it's inviting, it's comfortable. Um, some of the trim is painted gray. I'm seeing that that looks really good with that color blue. I, I like that, I like that combination a lot. That looks really cool. Let's see how the bathroom looks. All right, so I carried that same tile into here. I, I was hoping to go for more of like the charcoal tone that you see in the tile here, but I didn't quite nail it. So um, I probably will have them, especially because they haven't finished it. You know, they've skim coated everything in it and it has to do another coat. This room is gonna be my pride and joy because this room is what gets that wicked cool truck bed. And I'm like so stoked to get it. I just, I just contacted the guy that's making it from Etsy, been built and it's in the sanding process. So he's gonna be calling me probably within the next week to two weeks um, to see what color I wanna paint it. So I'm so freaking excited to get that truck bed because that's definitely like such a cool statement piece. I am back here and I want to see the progress that's been done on this house so far. Um, but once the renovation is done, then we can start decorating and actually putting the Airbnb together. You know, when you're flipping it, you're just like picking out the cabinets and the tile and the paint and all of that good stuff. But when you do an Airbnb or a short-term vacation rental, you actually get to furnish it and kind of like bring everything together that was in your mind. So we did the cabinets in this dark teal color and then this tile is actually pretty wicked cool. It has like a wood look to it, but it's glass. Dining room light. So I found this table on um, Facebook Marketplace. So I found quite a bit of furniture that I want to use in this house on Marketplace. Some of it I got elsewhere um, and I have to have it put together, but this I got on Marketplace. So I'm excited to see how that all goes. This I found on Marketplace. That's going to go with the truck bed. Those are going to be the nightstands. I got those for like 50 bucks. Yes, this gray tone is much better. The last time I was in here, it kind of had a little purple hue to it. So I had them do a, a darker tone on the gray and it goes much, much, much better with the tile. And then with all of the nice white accents, um, that's gonna look really cool. We have this like galvanized metal mirror and the um, mason jar lights and the pipe fittings. You know, we did the, the pipe fittings for the towel holders and all that good stuff. And then I actually saw this on Pinterest. I was inspired by Pinterest, but there was a, a shower that kind of had basically it's just like a little valance almost to cover the shower curtain rod and it just kind of gives it that more rustic feel so when all this comes together this is going to look really really cool i'll get some art in here and some shelving this is a little bit unique up here um, because the ceilings are only well i'm i'm five four and these are uh five three and these are really tight so this is really meant for more kids than adults um, but look at these these are like super cool they're built-in beds I bought some really thin mattresses to go on here like six inches memory foam mattress I wanted to kind of like actually see how this felt because I don't want it to feel like they're sleeping in a tomb <laughs> another idea I got off Pinterest 
and then what's going to happen is you'll see these little notches here because this is not to code. A, a child could easily fall through that and we don't want that. We want to stay very safe. So there's going to be wires that actually go in here to, to block that off. But it gives it that kind of rustic vibe and then we have this really cool fan. All right, I am so freaking excited right now. The bed came today. Actually, the bed was at the office for a few days. We had it delivered there because I didn't want it sitting outside of here, but it just got brought to the house today. <laughs> I'm like stoked because this is what I've been waiting this whole time for. So let's see how she looks. When somebody's like looking for Airbnbs in this area, if I have competition and I have this bed and somebody else's bed, just look a normal bed, what bed are you gonna wanna sleep in, you know? Let's check out the, the footboard. Ah, it's got room lights, look. So I got these on Facebook Marketplace and my idea is, and I actually have some other ones that are bigger too, because these might not quite be big enough, but my idea is to put these on like a barn track and have these be the window coverings instead of curtains. Um, a girl redid it and the other cool thing about doing this is I love supporting local businesses especially right now with COVID going on it's it's really cool to be able to um, support people that are doing things on their own just to kind of make some extra money so I'm excited about that all right so I'm gonna finish working up here we've got until we've got about another hour before I have to get home um, the girls are kicking butt taking names they're doing everything I ask them to do and they're doing great the thing I think I'm just, I'm just, I'm just so ready for this house to get done and maybe that's why I'm like so excited to actually be over here and doing some of the unpacking myself because if you remember, Glenn hasn't seen this house. This is our first um, kind of theme house that we've done. The other ones I've just like decorated, um, but they're not so much of a theme as this one and being that this one has a lot of unique features to it, I'm really excited to show him all of those features for the big reveals. All right. So today is the day for the big reveal. The house is done, it's cleaned, it's, the heat is working now. We had a little issue with that over the weekend. So I have Glenn in the garage waiting. Uh, he's freezing cold, so let's let him in and get warmed up and show him all the goodies this house has to offer. Come on in. Here we go. By the way, we have a new driver learner permit today. We got oh, it today. Hey, in. <laughs> Congratulations, baby. Passed they just test. came from the DMV. Yeah, wow, this is different. Right. So we painted the cabinets. These are the original cabinets. Remember when we um, came in here and first decided to do this as an Airbnb? This was a rental. And these were, I don't know if it was our turnover company or if the tenants had painted these like poop brown. <laughs> they were gross. There's a color, poop brown. <laughs> poop brown. That nice? That's a nice color. I think I'm going to call it my eclectic romantic rustic retreat. Okay. Because it's kind of like a mixture of a lot of different styles that, that fit together, but they're, they're kind of cool and trendy and what's going on. The um, table I got on it, Facebook uh, Marketplace it, for 500 bucks. It looks expensive. So I'm, so let, let me look around first, then I'll we'll look around first. All right. I can't wait to show you. Looks nice, though. living room so I have some stories about this stuff to tell you though okay. so this couch came from um, that house in uh, Del Mar that we did so I didn't have to buy a new couch it looks rustic it it's supposed to look rustic yeah, that'll no. make a lot more sense as you see the rest of the house okay. um, but yeah we put some like um, leather polish on it to get rid of like this 
bare spots and awesome. we actually okay. used embroidery, there was a rip in it, we used embroidery thread to sew up the rip. So okay. if somebody sees it, it looks like it was meant to be there. So that, that should have saved about a thousand bucks on the uh, Yeah, 800 to a thousand probably. Great. Okay. Yep. Great. See the See the coffee table? Oh, that's cool. Isn't that cute? Yeah, that's very Little cool. Little wagon wheels on it. Did you make that or did you buy it? No, I bought it. Okay. Um, that we bought um, and I didn't want to put like really a lot of traditional artwork in here. I wanted to do like some different things. So you can see the feathers on the wall over there and then we did the the ladder blanket rack and then I love these curtains too they're like velvet and then they have a little tab top that okay. you tie they're just really cute you know it all kind of goes goes with the theme of the house yep all right you love all the pretty stuff I'm looking for the, num the numbers but let's keep looking know, let's keep I looking know, let's keep looking. all right let's go okay huh. Ow. <laughs> yeah, what's your head? So this is definitely meant more for kids than adults, as you can see. Yeah, yeah. Um, so I did two built-in beds right here. The here. walls were here at all, right? No, there was nasty um, uh, paneling up here. It looked really bad. Okay. Like it was like semi-finished, but you couldn't call it finished. Was this all new? Yes, this is all new. Because the walls, like once the paneling came down, they were all just two by fours. Okay. But we did add square footage to the house. Because this wasn't very functional okay. before at all. So it has to bad value. Yeah. My brain's turning numbers over sitting there. I'm looking, I know, I'm looking I know, around I know. saying there's a lot of money going. And this this is not cheap to build all this. No, the shiplap was a little bit pricey, but it gave the look that I wanted. Because in a small yeah. space like this, I wanted it. If you just put sheetrock up here, it's gonna get banged up. Well, as long as you wanted it, then I guess we're happy. Well, I wanted it for a reason that we'll get into we, later. All right, good, all right, all right, good. So did all you right. see the railings? I did, the railings are amazing. Aren't the railings cool? Yeah, they're very cool. Um, I didn't want just normal spindles, especially because I wanted this house to have that more rustic feel to it. Did you make those? Yep. There were actually two walls already here, um, and so we just turned those into like little closets, and then you'll see we put toys in each corner. So, okay. you know, it just we'll put pictures of that on the Airbnb ad too, so people, you know, yep. even yep. even when we're looking, when we went to Europe, like I looked for places that had little toys and yep. stuff for the kids, because right. that, that makes a house more appealing. All right. All right, let's go downstairs. is the romantic retreat. Not too girly, but you know, it's feminine, but not like super feminine. It's just, I wanted it to kind of be like rustic romantic. Okay. Nice. T test the bed. I'm a guy. Such a guy, test the bed. Are there quarters to put in the bed? The, that's old school. So like, you know, this I got very inexpensively. Um, the shutters are actually off of an old house. Those are real shutters. You bought them on? On Marketplace. Okay. Yep. Um, People sell that crap on Marketplace? Oh yeah. Old shutters? Old shutters. Well, I mean, they're in style right now. Um, this dresser I got on Marketplace. Oh, you making yourself comfortable? <sighs> now I have to remake the bed before our first guest. Thanks wow, a lot. I'm just sinking right in. This is nice. This is comfy. Don't right. get too comfortable. <clears throat> Go for a nap. Um, this right. table I got on Marketplace for okay. like $75. This is wallpaper. It's very cool. Yeah. Very cool. I mean, unless you're like, you know, up close and feeling it, but it actually does have a texture to it. Always kiss me goodnight. Yeah. That's in our bedroom too, look at it that. Is. Did you notice all the dark trim too? Normally I do the trim white and I painted I everything not notice, dark I, gray. I see it now, now that you put it out, yes. Yeah. Oh boy, this is looking expensive, looks nice though. The mirror I got on Marketplace. Is the idea to market this as a retreat place, as a, as a romantic getaway? Yeah. Okay. So you can let the kids play upstairs and you can yep. do your business down here. Okay, all right, all right. let's go. Okay, so this room is the room that inspired the whole idea for this house. What is it, a truck? It's a truck. <laughs> what the heck? Yes, it is. I actually learned to drive on a truck very similar. I think it was a Chevy, actually. Isn't that the coolest thing in the world? Yeah, it's called a three on the tree. I, sh I shifted paint and I had to shift with a clutch, which your generation has no idea what a clutch is but I had to shift in the tree. It looks, it looks like that. It was the same color, actually. Dad had it. What? I don't get it. It's a bed? It's, I found it on Etsy. Um, a guy made it. I ordered it, and he had it shipped here. A guy made it? A guy made it. It's made out of fiberglass. 
<laughs> so I was afraid that these might let a lot of light in in the mornings, so I actually stapled like felt fabric behind these. So when at night, they're like um, really dark. Let's talk some numbers. Would you like to sit in my truck? When we started this project, which was like four months ago, three months ago. Yeah, it took a while. Well, remember, we're in the middle of COVID. I know, but nonetheless, what, the budget was to turn this thing over for 20 grand. Where do we, where do we land? Um, I think that Caitlin said we're probably close to double that, which was a big surprise to me too, because the, the oh, contracting was supposed to 40, come in. So 40 grand? I think so. So the contracting was supposed to come in at like um, 10 and it ended up being like between 25 and 30. So I'll give you a couple examples though. You, you don't have to, I can, I mean, I, I can see. No. There's a, okay. So, so, so doors, doors were six weeks out. Yeah. Door slabs are normally about 25 bucks a piece. Yeah. Door slabs, we, we couldn't find them anywhere. They were gone. They were no Home Depot, no Lowe's, none of the local places even had any doors at all. Okay. So we had to order doors. Those were about 200 bucks a piece. So $25 to $200, but we had to get the job done or we had to wait a long time to get them. For so let's talk math. So, so I don't love the fact, 40, that hurts. I knew we were, I knew we were getting high. So it's not just the 40,000, it's also that we held it for four months right. without rent. Right. We've had no rent coming in for four months. So that's a loss of, 1500 bucks a month, so call that 6000 so or $46,000 in on this. So we had a hard we, time finding contractors too, and contractors were having a hard time finding guys to work for them. Like our main but, contractors but why, were but why fine, so expensive, but the guys, though? because they couldn't find anybody to work for them. So they had to pay them extra to do the work, to get the work done. So I love I love the house, it's beautiful. I mean, it's really cool, it's 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 eclectic. Is that the word I'm looking for, or yeah. is it? Yeah, it's eclectic. It's, it's really cool, this is a cool bed, it's cool stuff. So here's a question, is an Airbnb, what will you and Dakota rent this for a night? Because that's the real, the, the true test is any investment is how, how fast we pay it off. Yep, so we're gonna start it out at 179 really? a night. That's and, all? Well, we're gonna test it. And and at first you wanna get some good reviews under your belt. So at first you, when you market your Airbnb, you usually do it for a little bit of a discount to get some good reviews and get reservations. And then once you get a few good reviews, then you can start bumping up your price and kind of testing it a little further. Where you it's still, it still is only three. I mean, our other houses that we rent not too far away are about the same price, and they're much bigger. You know, those sleep ten to twelve people. This house is going to sleep six. But the other the other reason I really wanted to invest and make this house more of a theme feel instead of like just a normal looking house. I'm listening. Well. Because I've done some research and I've, I've seen that we're starting to get a lot more competition in this area. This was not an area that had a lot of Airbnbs before and we there's quite a few now. So in order to stand out from the crowd, we have to be different. And that's something that we've always been really, really good at is staying ahead of the curve. So we clear 27,000 a year in this house. So in theory, we are two years, we're two years to get our investment back. Right. Maybe, right. maybe, maybe not quite though, because we've also done really well with some you know, like during the holidays and being that this does have the, okay. I, I could rent this out for 10 grand a month during track season. All right. And that, that right. would almost pay our right. mortgage for the whole month. So that's a bit of a gamble, but it's not a bad gamble. We don't lose, we don't lose money. We definitely put a lot in. So let me ask you, is everyone going forward going to be this much money? So my goal, my goal is to, um, we've got several coming up. I know. Right. But, but furnishing wise, I didn't go that overboard on this house. Okay. This bed was the most expensive thing here. That bed in there was like 150 bucks. Okay. The beds upstairs I built in, so that okay. was part of the construction all right. cost. All right. You love all this stuff. I do. You love. I hate you love shopping. I can't stand it, but you love shopping and looking and making deals and finding stuff and finding right. I do. That's a passion here. So if you can do a passion and make money and all that kind of stuff, so. And, and it makes it a more okay. appealing listing. All right. So I'm not going to look like everybody else is out there. I've been. I've been not, definitely not concerned with the length of time, but as I look around, it's it's growing on me big time. It's 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 uh, it's really cool. I mean, it's really it's a cool, very different style. So Peyton helped me, um, her and her friends actually came over and helped me unpack a lot of the they did? stuff. Yep, they did. I've got, they played in the dumpster even. <laughs> you don't know about that. Let, let me guess, we paid you for that, right? Oh yeah. Yeah, what a shocker. Um, <laughs> Tough so, job you've got. So now that you've seen it all put together, what do you think? What do you, how do you think it looks now that it's all put together? Because you saw it before. Dad didn't see it before at all. This has been, like he, he was at a 
before we started anything. I've never seen it. And this is the first time he's seen it. So what do you, you were here kind of in the middle of it though. What do you think now that it's all done? It looks a lot better all put together and like the upstairs with the beds in there it looks better. What do you think of the truck bed? I like the truck bed. Want to do a photo shoot? Sure. Yeah, that'd be kind of cool. We should do that. I like the theme we have in here too. Yeah. Thanks, babe. So right now in New York State, and I think I, you know we've been talking about this, they just uh, made us we can't evict people anymore, you know, for till March. So now they're, they're letting people stay from last March to the next May. So so far there are 14 months that people can live rent free, which is asinine, but whatever. It is what it is. I don't know why we have to pay. Well, I don't know why we as landlords have to pay. I don't know why, why, why people can stay in our houses and not pay us. I don't understand why legally that's okay. They're stealing from us. But anyways, in an Airbnb though, we don't have to worry about that. They're not, they're not tenants, they're guests. Right. So they come in, they pay in advance when they come here, so we have no tenant problems. So I think we take all, you know, we have whatever we've got, 45 buildings, whatever we've got, we should be thinking about converting as many as, many as we can over to Airbnbs. That's where the money is right now. And we just keep going. And if for some reason that goes south or something doesn't go right with that down the road, as long as we keep our integrity up and do it right, and make sure there's no parties and all that stuff, and we, yeah. we kind of lead the way with how to, how to do an Airbnb the right way, we keep doing that, I think we're in a good spot because even if something happens, Airbnb goes away, which it's a multi-billion dollar company that's public, public yeah. so I doubt it. But even if they did do that, we could sell this house as an owner financed, you know, come in here and pay a couple thousand bucks a month and, you know, buy the house from us owner financing. Yeah. And we're totally covered because it's all, it's all furnished. I think, we, I think either way, it's a win-win we can't lose. Yeah. So it's, you know, well, yeah, I'm proud of you. You love what you do. You got it done. I know you've been working really hard at this, and uh, it came out great. And as long as we get our investment back, if you think within a year, we'll have to revisit and see how we did. But we will. Looks good, man. Good job. So I am super happy that this project is finally done. It has had a lot of bumps and bruises along the way with COVID and contractors and all of that kind of stuff. Um, things that kind of came in broken and, and dealing with everything. But this is like, you know, these, these are like a passion project for me. I, I do love the design and I have a lot of fun with it. Um, Glenn is like a mixed bag when it comes to like doing a big reveal for things to him because like sometimes I'll invite him in somewhere to see something and sometimes he's like, oh my gosh, this is so cool. And then other times like he's just like focused on the negative. Like even when he walked in here, he goes, oh, we didn't change the windows. I'm like, you see everything here and you focus on the windows? Um, but overall, I think he was really happy with it as long as we can um, get a, a good ROI return on our investment in a short amount of time. Um, I'm going to call this house a big win.